Hello viewers, welcome back to an another video on Power Mill Phi-Axis tutorial. And in this video, we are going to cover one of the tool axis called from line option. So it is also, we can say an four axis tool path because we are going to utilize one of the rotary axis only with three linear axis. Uh, for this, we do have an example here. Before moving into tool path generation, I would like to highlight why I'm using from line actually. The reason why is you can see uh, this is your Z axis and uh, there is undercut uh, available under the each features here actually. You can see that red color here, this face, okay? So, so from vertical it is not possible or you maybe use some special tool, but here I'm using a, a ball nose tool and I'm going to cut that area too, okay? So this is about the part and the tool path I'm using is projection line finishing. Okay, in this case, a tool got selected and my line projection page, I'm using a circular pattern and my location of the projection line is 0075 actually. So as said in the previous video, once you click that preview, you can able to understand how it works and how it is going to create. So 0075, my work plane is at the bottom. From there, it is 75 above and it is XY00. And my azimuth is uh, zero, okay? And my elevation is 90 degree. As said that, you have to play around this angle so that you can able to get a proper shape of the preview frame. So if you put zero here, preview it will create like this so i would go for this actually so i want to project outwards okay i want to project outward and i want to so that i can from the center if you project outwards it will consider these surface areas because it is going to project the tool is going to project towards the preview frame okay this is your preview frame and uh, under the pattern uh, two-way join and uh, I said azimuth angle is ni minus 90 and uh, plus 90. So we know that how to control it. If you put zero here and if you preview, you can see it starts from here to here. Zero degree is here. That's why I put minus 90 to plus 90. So the either way, this way and this way. Okay. And uh, you can have the height. So what is the height is uh, this length here. It is specified and zero to 200 mm. Okay, so if you say 150, you can see it's until here only. Okay, so put 200 and preview. So this is what about uh, uh, line projection when coming under to the tool axis. Okay, so when you click on draw tool axis, you can find one more line actually. This, the white line is, uh, the center of the preview frame cylinder actually, okay? The red line is tool axis, so that are different. So using the red line only, we are going to control it. And now where the, the tool axis is lying is 0, 0, 100 mm, just above the, the uh, center of the preview frame, okay? And the direction is 100, 0, 0. that means it is uh, along X axis, okay? Along X axis. So with that, I'm going to calculate this. So as said, this one, it is going to project outside. That means the tool will uh, project outwards towards the uh, preview frame and it is controlling uh, the, uh, by the tool axis, okay? Tool axis, which is 0, 0, 100 mm. So when you have this tool path, okay? And if you go and simulate it, okay? you can see that you can able to control like this. Okay, so wherever you select, let me stop this one and you can go from here and you can a little bit slower. Okay, you can see that you can cut that undercut to actually. If you uh, come down a little bit, you can able to cover uh, some more, uh, the most sharpest area, but this is an example how to control your uh, tool access, even if you do have an undercut, actually. 
okay so using tool axis uh, from line option you can able to generate uh, a tool path like this this is also uh, you can say a four axis only because if you go on simulate it there is no way of uh, rotating the uh, a axis still uh, the same 90 degree and it is uh, c axis is rotating like this okay so this way you can able to control it at the same time if you do have an mtd file okay so let us see how it will works also so go to simulate okay and it will rotate like this okay so uh, there is uh, only one rotary axis taking place in this case actually this base actually here uh, this uh, table rotation is not there so it, it different uh, uh, differences in the kinematics of the machine okay so let me stop this and if you go to this one okay and uh, if you select that uh, machine tool and your p33 this is another mtd file because it's a four axis uh, kind of configuration where you have c axis before is uh, different it's a five axis but we are controlling one of the axis in this also you can able to control the same way you can see that okay it's a c axis only okay still you can able to control that actually okay you can see that it will move like that so here in this tool path only we do have one rotary so uh, the another one maybe we can lock it or maybe if we do not have also you can able to uh, using a pure four axis machine you can able to do this so that's what about uh, from line tool axis definition